Good day and welcome to your maths lesson with me, teacher Lazan Faree. And today our main focus will be long division. Now, before we start with long division, just a quick question again. What do we do when we divide? Yes, I agree. When we divide, we take larger numbers and we divide it into smaller groups. And that's what we saw yesterday when we worked with our short division steps. We also learned a few new keywords that we'll also make use of when we work with division, short division and long division. We are still busy with module four. Yesterday, we did learn more about division and also our new keywords. I hope you remember them all. Maybe have a quick look again. We'll use them later for long division as well. We had a look at our short division steps, and this is our basic method that we will use when we divide. Today, we want to make use of long division. And as you can see on the module page, all the steps are shown here again, step by step and what we need to do. But let's get started today, focusing on what we will do when we learn more about long division steps and why we want to use long division. Now, when we think of long division, we will go and focus on step by step as we go through the method and also making or to make it easier when we get larger numbers, we will only focus today on digit by digit. And why do you think we want to use long division? Perfect. Yes, that's the answer I'm looking for. When we want to use long division, we want to go and solve larger numbers we don't normally see in our multiplication chart or our times tables. When we use our times tables, it's easy to go and solve some easy you know, problems that we might face. But when we are given larger numbers like the one we see on screen, it might be difficult to use the multiplication table because you won't see it appearing anyway. But that's why we use our long division steps. Now, what's an easy way to remember four steps? Because when we complete long division, we need to make use of four steps. But luckily for you today, we do have a really nice division ninja. So when you think of your long division, I want you to go think, of a ninja because we'll use all the steps shown in our division ninja to remember our steps as well. I do know we have other rhymes and things we can also remember and use to complete the long division, but the easiest way is our division ninja. Now, when we have a look at the eyes, we can see that is where we need to divide. When we have a look at our nose, we can see that is where we need to multiply. Our next step will be to subtract. And the last one, and that's where we look at the next part, is to bring down the next number. Now, what do I want you to do next? I want you to go and try in your own workbook to draw our division ninja. Let's start and I'll do the same on screen. And you can also help me later on when we annotate to draw the division ninja again to help us remember the four steps. So first we start with our I, and that is to divide. Our next step, multiply. Third step, subtract. And you can make yourself a little circle for the head. And your neck part will show, bring down the next number. And these are the steps that we will go and use when we use long division. Now let's go and have a look today when we solve the problem we see on screen together using the long division steps. Maybe write a problem in your workbook first and also draw your division ninja. As we go through the steps, we can mark down and what's really nice for the long division, as you get to learn the steps, you can also use different colors when you work with a specific digit. Now we've got our division ninja 
and we've got our problem to solve. Let's get started. When we're done with this example, there's a second example that some, you know, one learner can maybe help us with. And you can also do it in your workbook while we show all the steps on screen. Now, when we have a look at our first dividend or our first digit in our dividend, we can see it's our nine. We can use our division ninja. So our first step will be to ask, how many times can four go into nine? Yes, thank you. That will be two times. And that's my first step, done. Our second step means we need to go and multiply. Four times two will give me, thank you, that will give me eight. And that is where we write our eight and make sure, certain about the place value that you are working with. Our next step shows, Subtract, and that is what I need to do now. Nine minus eight, and that will bring me to one. And that is my answer. Now I'm done with my third step. I can move on to my fourth one, and that is to bring down the next number. And that's exactly what you do in your method as well. Bring down the next number, and that will be four. Now we reuse all our steps again, and we can use a different color for that because we're working with a new number now. We start with the very first step again, divide, and we ask again, how many times can four go into 14? Perfect, four can go into 14 three times. And that's my first step done. Our second step, multiply four times three and that will bring me to 12. We add our next step and that means we need to subtract 14 minus 12 or you can start with your units first four minus two that will bring me to one ah two sorry and one minus one that will bring me to my zero. We don't need to put a zero there. It's okay, we can stop at two. We can see we are done with our subtraction step. We can use our final step, step and that is to bring down the next number. And let's bring down our next number and we can place it there next to our two. Now we're done with all four steps of our division ninja. We can use another color because now we need to use them all over again. So we start with our number 25 there at the bottom and we need to go to our first step. And you can see how I use my different colors just to help guide me as I learn these new steps. Four can go into 25, how many times? Perfect, six times. Four times, and that's my second step. Four times, six will bring me to? 24, thank you for that answer. Our third step, subtract. And let's go and solve. Five minus four will bring me to one. And two subtract two will give me zero, name not. So I just leave it like that. And I'm also almost done with all my steps in the division ninja. So what's happening here? Bring down the next number. Do we see other? digits to bring down? I agree, we don't see any other digits to bring down. So the one we see there at the bottom will become our remainder of one. Now, when we have a look at our final answer, if this was a word problem, your final answer will be 236 with your remainder one. Next up, you'll do the same with the next example. And if you maybe do get confused with some of the steps, please revisit your module page because there you can see all your steps again. Let's get started. Let's see what's your answer.